Mississippi Valley Type Deposits Definition Mississippi Valley Type Deposits are a specific type of or deposit characterized by their association with carbonate rocks, particularly limestone, and their occurrence in the Mississippi Valley region of North America, although they can be found in other parts of the world as well. These deposits are primarily composed of sulfide minerals, predominantly lead and zinc, along with minor amounts of other metals such as copper and silver. The formation of Mississippi Valley type deposits is typically associated with hydrothermal processes, where hot fluids enriched in metals migrate through fractures and faults in the Earth's crust. These fluids originate from deep within the Earth's mantle or crust and migrate upwards towards the surface. As they ascend, they interact with the surrounding rocks, dissolving metals and minerals along their path. When these fluids encounter certain geological conditions, such as changes in temperature, pressure, or chemical composition, they precipitate out minerals, forming or deposits. The key geological setting for Mississippi Valley-type deposits is the presence of carbonate rocks, particularly limestone, which act as host rocks for the mineralization process. These carbonate rocks provide the necessary chemical environment for the precipitation of sulfide minerals, as well as the porosity and permeability required for fluid migration and mineral deposition. Additionally, the presence of faults and fractures within the carbonate rocks provides pathways for the hydrothermal fluids to migrate and accumulate, facilitating the formation of concentrated ore bodies. Mississippi Valley-type deposits are often stratiform or stratiform-like in nature, meaning that they occur in distinct layers or beds within the host carbonate rocks. These layers can vary in thickness and lateral extent, and they may exhibit lateral and vertical zonation of mineralization, with different metals and minerals concentrated in different parts of the deposit. Economically, Mississippi Valley-type deposits are significant sources of lead and zinc, as well as other associated metals such as copper and silver. They have been mined for centuries, with historical mining operations dating back to the 18th and 19th centuries in the Mississippi Valley region of the United States. Today, Mississippi Valley-type deposits continue to be important sources of base metals, and they are subject to ongoing exploration and development efforts worldwide. In summary, Mississippi Valley-type deposits are distinctive or deposits characterized by their association with carbonate rocks, predominance of lead and zinc mineralization, and formation through hydrothermal processes. They represent an important class of mineral deposits, contributing significantly to the global production of base metals and playing a key role in the exploration and mining industry. Formation of Mississippi Valley-type deposits the formation of Mississippi Valley-type deposits involves a complex interplay of geological processes over extended periods of time. These deposits are typically associated with specific geological settings and hydrothermal activity. Here's a more detailed exploration of the formation process. Regional tectonic setting, Mississippi Valley-type deposits often occur within stable continental cratons or platforms where sedimentary basins have developed over millions of years. These basins are subjected to various tectonic processes, including uplift, subsidence, and deformation, which create the necessary structural framework for the formation of ore deposits. Presence of carbonate rocks a critical factor in the formation of Mississippi Valley-type deposits is the presence of carbonate rocks, particularly limestone, dolomite, and sometimes, evaporite minerals like gypsum and anhydrite. These carbonate rocks act as the primary host for the mineralization process. They provide the necessary chemical environment and porosity for the precipitation and accumulation of sulfide minerals. Fluid Migration the formation of Mississippi Valley-type deposits is closely tied to the circulation of hydrothermal fluids through the Earth's crust. These fluids typically originate from deep within the Earth, where they are heated and enriched with metals through processes such as magma intrusion, metamorphism, or the leaching of mineralized rocks. Pathways for fluid migration, faults, fractures, and other structural features within the carbonate rocks provide pathways for the upward migration of hydrothermal fluids. These structural features may have been formed during tectonic events or as a result of diagenesis and lithification processes within the sedimentary basin. Mineral precipitation, 
as the hydrothermal fluids migrate through the carbonate rocks, they undergo changes in temperature, pressure, and chemical composition, leading to the precipitation of sulfide minerals. The dissolution and replacement of carbonate minerals by sulfides, such as galena, lead sulfide, and sphalerite, zinc sulfide, are common processes in the formation of Mississippi Valley type deposits. Stratiform deposition Mississippi Valley type deposits often exhibit a stratiform or stratiform like geometry, where mineralization occurs in distinct layers or beds within the host carbonate rocks. This stratification can result from variations in the permeability and porosity of the host rocks, as well as the episodic nature of hydrothermal fluid flow and mineral precipitation. Zonation of mineralization Mississippi Valley type deposits may display lateral and vertical zonation of mineralization, with different metals and minerals concentrated in different parts of the deposit. This zonation can result from variations in fluid composition, temperature, and other factors during the mineralization process. Post depositional processes After the initial formation of Mississippi Valley type deposits, subsequent geological processes such as uplift, erosion, and groundwater circulation may further alter and remobilize the mineralization. This can lead to the redistribution of metals within the deposit and the formation of secondary enrichment zones. In summary, the formation of Mississippi Valley type deposits involves a combination of geological factors including regional tectonic setting, the presence of carbonate rocks, hydrothermal fluid migration, mineral precipitation, and post-depositional processes. These deposits represent a fascinating example of the interaction between geology, hydrology, and mineralogy in the Earth's crust. Mineralogy of Mississippi Valley Type Deposits The mineralogy of Mississippi Valley type deposits is characterized by the predominance of sulfide minerals, particularly lead and zinc sulfides, along with associated minerals and gang minerals. These deposits typically exhibit a complex assemblage of minerals, reflecting the diverse geological processes involved in their formation. Here's a more detailed exploration of the mineralogy of Mississippi Valley type deposits. Lead Minerals Galena Galena is the most common and economically significant lead mineral found in Mississippi Valley type deposits. It typically occurs as well-formed cubic crystals, but can also appear as massive, granular, or disseminated grains within the host carbonate rocks. Anglocyte Anglocyte is a secondary lead mineral that can form through the oxidation of galena. It is often found as coatings or crusts on galena or within the oxidized zones of Mississippi Valley type deposits. Zinc minerals Sphalerite Sphalerite is the primary zinc mineral in MVT deposits, occurring in a variety of colors including black, brown, yellow, and red. It commonly forms botryoidal, granular, or crystalline aggregates within the host carbonate rocks. Smithsonite Smithsonite is a secondary zinc mineral that can form through the alteration of sphalerite. It is often found as botryoidal or stalactitic masses, and can exhibit a wide range of colors including white, pink, green, and blue. Copper Minerals Chalcopyrite Chalcopyrite is the primary copper mineral associated with Mississippi Valley type deposits, although it is typically present in lower abundance compared to lead and zinc sulfides. It forms brassy yellow, metallic crystals or disseminated grains within the mineralized zones. Bornite and calcocyte Bornite and calcocyte are secondary copper minerals that can occur in Mississippi Valley type deposits under certain conditions, often in association with calcopyrite. Silver Minerals Tetrahedrite Tetrahedrite is a common silver-bearing mineral found in Mississippi Valley type deposits. It typically occurs as gray to black, metallic crystals or as disseminated grains within the ore zones. Argentiferous Galena Galena can also contain significant silver content as solid solution or as inclusions, contributing to the overall silver content of MVT deposits. Gang Minerals Calcite and dolomite. Calcite and dolomite are the primary gang minerals in Mississippi Valley type deposits, constituting the host carbonate rocks in which the sulfide mineralization occurs. Barite and fluorite. 
barite and fluorite are sometimes associated with Mississippi Valley-type deposits, occurring as accessory minerals within the mineralized zones. Clay Minerals and Oxides Kaolinite and Hematite, these minerals may be present as alteration products or oxidation products within the weathered and oxidized zones of Mississippi Valley-type deposits. The mineralogy of Mississippi Valley type deposits can vary depending on factors such as the composition of the hydrothermal fluids, temperature and pressure conditions, and the host rock lithology. Understanding the mineralogical composition of these deposits is essential for exploration, mining, and or processing activities. Additionally, the presence of certain accessory minerals and gang minerals can influence the economic viability and processing requirements of Mississippi Valley type or deposits. Characteristics of Mississippi Valley type deposits Mississippi Valley type deposits exhibit a range of distinctive characteristics that set them apart from other types of or deposits. These characteristics are a result of the specific geological processes and conditions under which they form. Here's a more detailed exploration of the key characteristics of Mississippi Valley type deposits. Association with carbonate rocks, Mississippi Valley type deposits are intimately associated with carbonate rocks, particularly limestone and dolomite. These carbonate rocks act as the primary host for mineralization and provide the necessary chemical and physical conditions for the deposition of sulfide minerals such as galena and sphalerite. The presence of carbonate rocks is a defining characteristic of Mississippi Valley type deposits and influences their mineralogy, geometry, and geological setting. Stratiform or stratiform like geometry, Mississippi Valley type deposits typically exhibit a stratiform or stratiform like geometry, meaning that they occur in distinct layers or beds within the host carbonate rocks. This stratification can result from variations in the permeability and porosity of the host rocks as well as the episodic nature of hydrothermal fluid flow and mineral precipitation. The stratiform nature of MVT deposits often leads to the formation of ore bodies with well-defined boundaries and geometry. Hydrothermal origin, the formation of Mississippi Valley type deposits is primarily attributed to hydrothermal processes, involving the circulation of hot, metal-rich fluids through fractures and faults in the Earth's crust. These hydrothermal fluids originate from deep within the earth and migrate upwards towards the surface, interacting with the surrounding rocks and precipitating sulfide minerals along their path. The hydrothermal origin of Mississippi Valley-type deposits is reflected in their association with specific tectonic and geological settings, as well as the presence of characteristic mineral assemblages. Lead zinc dominance, Mississippi Valley type deposits are characterized by the predominance of lead and zinc mineralization, with galena, lead sulfide, and sphalerite, zinc sulfide, being the most common or minerals. While other metals such as copper, silver, and barium may also be present in Mississippi Valley type deposits, lead and zinc are typically the dominant economic minerals. The lead zinc dominance of Mississippi Valley type deposits reflects the geochemical affinity of these metals for carbonate rich environments and the specific conditions under which Mississippi Valley type mineralization occurs. Epigenetic nature Mississippi Valley type deposits are considered epigenetic, meaning that they form after the formation of the host rocks and are typically unrelated to the original sedimentary processes that deposited the carbonate rocks. Instead, Mississippi Valley type mineralization is a later stage event that occurs as a result of hydrothermal fluid flow and mineral precipitation. The epigenetic nature of Mississippi Valley type deposits distinguishes them from syngenetic deposits, which form contemporaneously with the host rocks. Lateral and vertical zonation Mississippi Valley type deposits may display lateral and vertical zonation of mineralization with different metals and minerals concentrated in different parts of the deposit. This zonation can result from variations in fluid composition, temperature, and other factors during the mineralization process. Understanding the zonation patterns within Mississippi Valley type deposits is important for exploration and resource delineation efforts. Historical significance and economic importance 
Mississippi Valley-type deposits have been historically significant sources of lead and zinc, with mining operations dating back to the 18th and 19th centuries in regions such as the Mississippi Valley in North America. Today, Mississippi Valley-type deposits continue to be economically important sources of base metals, contributing significantly to global metal production. Their relatively high grades, favorable mining conditions, and well-defined geological characteristics make Mississippi Valley-type deposits attractive targets for exploration and development. In summary, Mississippi Valley-type deposits exhibit a range of distinctive characteristics including their association with carbonate rocks, stratiform geometry, hydrothermal origin, lead-zinc dominance, epigenetic nature, zonation patterns, and historical significance as economically important sources of base metals. Understanding these characteristics is essential for the exploration, evaluation, and exploitation of Mississippi Valley-type deposits.